good morning. Uh, today is the 4th of July. I'm in uh, Vancouver, Canada and I'm about to take this train to Whistler. This is called uh, Rocky Mountaineer and uh, reminds me of my trip to Kuch uh, from uh, uh, Cusco to Machu Picchu and uh, they have different types of compartments and uh, luckily I have a dome compartment and so supposed to have a 360 degrees view or something like this but this is a little railway station uh, uh, it's absolutely beautiful place the weather could be slightly a little bit better but it's expected to get better as I, as we go along in the day and I'm coming back by seaplane and so that's really going to be fun thing to do and they fly over glacier so anyway that's a different report and uh, this is going to be my coach and you promised a sun lamp today. I didn't promise anything. Yeah. That, when I called in, that's what they told me. That wasn't me you spoke. <laughs> <laughs> I must have called the wrong number. I know. Uh, I, I took a train like this for in uh, Peru from Cusco to Machu Picchu. Wow. Very similar. Wonderful. Yeah, very well, similar. I, I'm about to board this. Just give me a second. Yeah, I'm taking a time. film. Sure. <laughs> yeah, this is a uh, uh, open air uh, observation car, supposedly built in early 20th century or something and the name is uh, Henry Pickering uh, that must be the guy who built this I guess uh, it's very much like uh, like the one in Machu Picchu so okay exits in this coach. There is an exit door at each end of the coach and these doors open by pulling inward. The vestibule is located at each end of the coach are meant to hold a maximum of four people at a time. Please do not lean over or out of the vestibules or attempt to open the doors as both could be extremely dangerous. Now the windows in these coaches do not open. However, in the unlikely event of an emergency where other exits are blocked, we have four emergency exit windows located throughout the coach and they are marked by glow in the dark nickels and red handles. I have two here at the front and two at the very back. So you four get to go up first and the four here at the back you get to get up first as well. The windows in this coach open by pulling in on the red handles and sliding the glass out to the side. Ladies first, sir, please, manners, manners. We also do have an emergency tool cabinet right here at the galley of the coach, as well as first aid kits and fire extinguishers at both ends. All emergency equipment locations are marked with glow dark tackles and all of our onboard personnel are trained in first aid safety and emergency procedures. In the event of an emergency, please remain seated and follow our instructions. For your convenience, there is a safety card located in the seat pocket in front of you. We ask that you please take a few moments to review this card and become familiar with the coach exits prior to our departure. And lastly, during the trip, when walking around the coaches, please make sure to use the seat tops to balance yourselves, as we sometimes encounter occasional bumps and jars. And do please have proper footwear on at all times for your own safety. All right, that takes care of that. Now let's uh, let's have a good morning toast. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. But first, let's do some good morning yoga. If I could get the whole coach to do a big inhale and put your arms up into the sky. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach forward and grab that table tray down. Stretch it out. <laughs> Thank you. 
The second reason I like, like to actually highlight this brochure is that also on the inside cover are some excellent opportunities for things to do in Whistler. Uh, do we have anybody returning with us on the train today? There's a few. I think many of you are lucky enough to be spending the night or, or uh, coming back a little bit later on by different means. But all of the tours that we do have highlighted in this brochure, there's four of them, you are able to do on a return trip. So if you're wondering about what you'd like to do in Whistler, if you have any questions about that, there's some great opportunities here. Now I always like to highlight to everyone, most what they'll have on their list to do is going on the peak to peak. It's usually like top three things you'd like to do in Whistler is go on the peak to peak. It's the longest single span mountain connection in the world. Kind of need to do it. Check it off the list. We do sell tickets on the train oh, really? and those are at a discounted price from what you would pay if you were to buy them at the gondola oh, station. Now they are available for any time you decide to go. So if you decide that you don't want to go today, you can use them tomorrow, you can use them the next day. Uh, it's an open-ended ticket. So I always like to highlight that those are available at a discounted price with us. There's adult, child and